Oh, I put a dent in the pan. Jamie's gonna love that. Jamie's gonna be pissed. And she's gonna be at the straw bag. You want to 1v1? Can yeah. I watch that? Literally, you will. I need a caddy. Though. Brody's a caddy for me and you. How would he be two caddies? No, well, but yeah, you can't. I can't be. Brody's I, a caddy for me. Okay. Yeah, Gareth's, Gareth's a, caddy a caddy for you, for you and yeah. I'm a caddy for Steven. That's what I'm yeah. saying. I can't be conflicted. Mosquito, bug guys. Okay, Matt, we know I'm the most athletic. Potato, donut, unathletic. Yeah, 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 yeah. First question for Steven, what's your goal to shoot today? What's the number? Nine holes, par 36. If I shot five over, I'd win either way because he's straight trash, but. I'm thinking four over. So you want to beat me by one? But you're not shooting five over. There's absolutely no way. What do you think I'm gonna shoot? I'd be surprised if you shoot 10 over. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we get you on the putting green, I'll be perfectly fine because you're gonna probably four or five putt. Mm -hmm. You know, you'll be on for, for eagle and make a six. How are you gonna feel about when a soccer player beats you? If I even come close to you, it's bad. What's gonna be the most used club today for you, Steven? The audience already knows. I say may the best man win. I agree. The only thing is if I beat you, it's gonna be very bad for you because I'm the non-golfer to soccer player. I'd never play golf. Tiny, mosquito, bug eyes. Potato, unathletic, There's nothing. donut. Steven, you have one more thing you can say to Matt before the match starts. What's it gonna be? I hope our friendship gets better after this video. Facts. The rules in today's match are quite simple. One, they will be playing nine holes of golf. Two, they will be playing straight up match play. Three, there will be no putts given. Four, each one of them will get a caddy. Matt's caddy is Brody. Steven's caddy is Garrett, AKA me. There are also going to be consequences to today's loser. Consequence number one, the losing team will actually have to jump into a muddy pond. Consequence number two, the losing player will have to say three minutes of good things about the winner. Not only are there consequences for the losers, but there is also going to be a prize for the winner and that's going to be money. Boom, enjoy the match. All right, we're back with a special kind of video. It's not a challenge today. It is simply Steven and Matt playing nine holes straight up match play for $3 million. Just kidding. We already got the interviews. We already got the confidence levels. I'm gonna be catting for Steven. Brody's gonna be catting for Matt. I think we're just gonna dive right into it. We're playing the front nine out here at Sunflower Hills. Any last words before we get into it, Steven? Yeah, I hope he makes it through. What, you don't think he's gonna finish? Yikes. It's All a right. sprint. It's, it's a walk. You, you walk the mare, you sprint the mare. We had a good range session. I think we had I a... did, I know that, but there's something in my eyeball and I think you did something to me. Alright, any last words for you, Matt? Brody, what about you? I mean, I think it's going to be good. They had some good shots on the range, which is nice. Me and Gare are going to, you know, set them straight, but at the end of the day, they have to hit the shots. So, there's going to be some good shots and uh, I expect there are going to be some really, really bad shots. Okay, so today we're going to be playing the red tees. Matt currently jumping to get warm. Get pumped, get jacked, get energized. Calm, cool, and collected. For those that don't know, we just watched a UFC fight, so that's why I think this is happening. Boom, on the first hole, we're gonna flip a tee to see who goes first. Whichever way it's pointing, that's the person who's hitting. 
the first tee shot of today's challenge. Oh, Steven. Steven's going first. Good luck, Brody. Good luck. Good luck out there. Good luck out there, yeah. Jimmy. Good luck. Have fun. Good, Good luck. luck. Have fun. Good luck. Have fun. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't. I think we're aim a little left here. Slow the tempo down. Yeah, he's aiming right at those trees right there. I like it. Nice and easy. Yes. Huh. What a bomb. Zoom in on that one. It's interesting, he normally plays a draw. He was hitting a fade off the tee uh, on the range, so we're gonna go with a fade, aiming at the flag on the left. So remember, hips, less hands. All hips, less hands. Ooh. Okay, it's all right. drawing, but that's all right. Yeah, I kinda yeah, okay. switched my Bend mind. down. I switched my mind in the middle, and that's not a good idea. Let's yeah, not do that again. That's all right. It's behind the trees, Matt. I think that's gonna be your best shot all day. Oh, really? I think that's probably gonna be your best, and it's trash. All right. Steven, we got 142. Do you think nine? Nine it is. All right, Steven has pulled nine iron. I think they're really trying to force the issue with the pitching wedge. That's gonna be all right. We can get that up and down. Oh, that's an easy chip, we're good. Okay, pins in the front. By 110 to the front. So that's the number you're trying to hit because you're in the rough, the ball's gonna roll out. You don't wanna fly this over the green. Your 110 shot, I wouldn't even worry about this. I don't think that's gonna come into yeah. play. I say 110. Kinda came up a little high, yeah, but it yeah. might be all right. Yep, that's why you take the left. Yep, yeah, that's perfect. That's nice. So Steven's a little short right of the green. I think we're gonna go, you already know. Okay. That's that caddy player connection. You guys don't even need to know what he's hitting. We already knew. This is where he ended up, guys. Just straight away up the hill to the pin right there. Matt's ball is right there also for birdie. Team Twigs over here trying to work it out. Garrett trying to line him up, it looks like. Almost giving him a full chipping lesson, if you will, right before the chip. Very interesting. They're going really deep into it. Me and Matt are definitely doing more of a feel thing. Hit pretty good if it rolls out, which it is. It's actually tracking. He almost oh made that. Boat. Really well done. Hey, are we giving this to them? No! Yeah, that's a limp out for Steven. I'm only a caddy, I can't I can't make the I appreciate it, Brody, but uh, we got a dweeb on the other side. Boom, that's for Steven four par. Matt up the hill, Brody just mentioned, they're not even trying to make it. I feel a three putt, folks. Go, 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 he Needs to hit it. Go. I knew that was gonna happen. That's a four putt territory. Go, go. Great par. Thanks. Careful now. Definitely knee shaker for you. Steven, just to rub it in Matt's face, gonna go ahead and tap in with a P wedge. <laughs> two hands though. You yeah. did it with two hands. All right, so Matt and Steven are off to a very solid start. Both of them are even par through one hole. Super impressive start, honestly. Very great play from both of them. Steven with a great up and down. Matt with a fantastic two putt there. I was uh, expecting a lot worse after what I saw from them in their last video. So it's a pretty good start. All right, guys, hole two here is a par five down and to the left, definitely reachable in two today. All right, Steven here after an incredible par. Yes! Jeez. What a shot playing that nice I think that's. Face. I think that's straight down the middle, right behind his dome. Really perfect. Can't see it because he walked right in front of it, but I'm pretty sure that's money. I'm going to try to go for the same thing, a less, less exaggerated though, Brody. I don't know this hole that well, so I think this is on like, you. Pretty much yeah. right where he was aimed. I went straight. Dead straight, folks. Probably about 370 down the middle of the fairway. Through the fairway. All right, Gary getting the number here after an incredible drive by Steven. Two for two. 196. That's probably going to be no. Definitely not a hybrid. All right, we're going five iron here. Steven was trying to go hybrid, but everything goes longer on this downhill shot. Extension tempo. There's not much you really need to know here. Yeah, that's fine. If Even if that's short, that's actually looking really good though. Yes! Wow, just on the Eagle right hand putt. side of Eagle putt. Right hand side of the green. What a shot. So Matt, currently in the wrong fairway. That's What's hole it? two. We're in hole three. Folks, this is what he's looking at. It's 160 to the pin? Yeah. And pigeon wedge you hit how far? Personally, I like a soft nine in between the flag and this tree right here in front of us. Well, because I mean if I'm still short. Are you feeling pigeon wedge? Yeah, I think I'm feeling P wedge. I think I am. So Matt trying to do a little high draw action up and over the trees. Second shot, par five. He blocked it straight right. Oh, that's Steven, that's what good. we like to see. Where's it going? Oh, I hit 
so far today, Matt. But overall, your ball striking seems pretty good today. Seems pretty good, Brody. Help me. He got me a little bit of a, a little tip on the range, kind of get my hips through instead of working my hands. So that's kind of helped me control a little bit of my shots, and uh, I'm striking them really well. From what I've noticed, are you actually a little nervous to play this match? First hole, I had the, a little bit of nerves because he actually hit a good shot, but we're fine. It's Steven. He's gonna he's gonna find a way to not hit a good shot. I don't need to get in his head per se, but I think I just need to keep playing my game. He'll start getting scared, start getting worried, start getting a little bit flustered. Typical Steven slice will start coming out. I think we'll uh, we'll win the game. Back. That way. All right, downhill, third shot to get up and down. Here's where Steven's ball ended up. His putt kind of down the hill, left to right to the pin, all the way on the front left of the green. Glad we went with five iron instead of the hybrid because he would have been all the way over there. So if Steven makes this, would be a huge eagle. Have you ever made an eagle? Yeah. Plenty of times. Have you ever made an eagle? No, I've never made me eagle. It's gonna be pretty short. Like good line. Not terrible. He's gonna have that left, maybe an eight footer or so for his birdie. Honestly, not a bad putt for Steven. This is for birdie here, folks. Oh, you just shot it way left. It's good pace it's okay, it's okay. though. All right, Steven now. Okay, he's going full swing. His caddy's definitely coming in to settle him down there. That was very weird. And to start one up in the match. Let oh go, my man. gosh! Let Without go. a doubt, just dro that would have been three, four putt material if he missed it because that was going to be gone. That was huge. And boom, just like that, Steven goes one up in the match after hole two. Never a doubt. Give me that club. One lucky hole. We, we got it. We got it. We got it. It'd be two lucky holes. This hole's really easy. Uh, Left to right, straight away, hole three is a par four, about 405 yards. We're gonna start out on those trees on the left and just fade it right back into play. Steven, we're not gonna aim as far left on this one. You're aiming really way too far left here. If you hit your fade starting left, it's gonna hit the tree and come straight down. But if you hit your fade starting right, you're fine if you're in the right trees. It's so open over there. Aim a little more right and put the ball a tiny bit more back in your stance. You'll hit it good, don't worry about it. Yes, right down the middle of the fairway. That's, wow. That's a bomb. Past the white state. Literally, who is this guy? My name's Steven. Nice to meet you, I'm a golfer now. Okay. Yes! Oh, that yes! was. Yes! Let's go! Electric connection, baby! Woo! Ball. That almost touched Steven's ball. All right, Steven now, in the interview booth, how are you feeling right now with your performance? Feeling really good. I usually don't play this good, but I knew when it comes down to pressure, I always perform. Yeah, you're playing kind of ridiculous, out of your mind, if you will. All right, look how close their drives are, guys. We're rolling up. That is ridiculous. Both of them probably close to 300 yards, and they are side by side, right in the middle of the fairway. All right, Matt getting the range for, honestly, both of them, considering they're within an inch. 134. That pin looks like it's kind of centered, Steven. You know what club we're using? I already have it in my hand. No, I hit the hole on this hole. Magical. You wanna try to play a draw? Right at it. Yeah, just go right at it. Matt going with the pitching wedge as well. I got 50. Never mind, he's got 50. Oh, he struck it so good. Oh, wow. Sit down. I, tried, I really tried to sit cut Sit down, it. sit down. Yep. I kinda of spun, I don't know where that's going. Yeah, neither do I, but that was a good shot. All right, so what are you thinking? Full swing, half swing, quarter swing? Yeah, I just think we're going normal here. Yeah. If you want to take some off of it, you'll probably still get it there. Just nice extension on the back swing. That's actually needs to cut a little left. Pure depth. Okay, that Very was actually shot. really good. So we've decided Matt is out here. Brody, caddy advice. I got this going a little left to right. It's going to be up the hill all the way. You have to. You've been short on all your lag putts. So you gotta really try to get it there. And uh, I would just try to put it out there on the left-hand side, almost kind of at these marks right here. Go, 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 go! That is the power of knowing these greens out here, folks. Brody didn't notice, but that putt actually goes left. It's a really tricky putt out here. First person green reading here. I think it's going a little left to right, and there's a little piece right here. Can you see that? Yeah. I think that's where we're gonna aim here. Really solid putt. I don't really like this pin location. Just hit through the ball though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can't. Don't try to love it in there. Hit through the ball right here. Yeah. Good par.
Wow, clutch. Let's go. I think we should sign up for the PGA Tour after we're done with this. We're I don't know, maybe just play like this every time. Jeez. We. I think the fact that we just dial in and we actually really focus on what we're doing. Okay guys, score update. After hole three, Steven is currently one under par. Matt is even par. Steven is one up. We're on hole four, which is a par three, 157 yards down the hill, pin on the back left. This is just a smooth a pitching wedge. wedge right at it. Steven, exactly what we worked on here. Keep the ball a little back in the stance, kind of like we did on the pitching wedge. You're aiming a little too far left here. Yeah, there you go. A little fat. It's a little fat. That's a really good shot, though. That's also, fine. Don't even go flag hunting. Aim a little. I'd aim almost. I'd aim almost like ten yards right at the flag. Oh, money! That is what we like to see. Come on in. Boom! Hot now. I wanted to give him this hole. All right, Matt. What were you feeling over that shot? It looks like you were kind of, you had the heart beating. I, yeah, when Steven missed it short, honestly, I wasn't planning on getting it that good, even though I know I could have hit a shot like that. It was just more or less getting it on the green so Steven would be, have a little bit more pressure on his shot because now he's got to get it up and down because I'm not three putting on that. I'm easy, I'm probably going to make a birdie, so he's got to probably make it. But as far as play goes, probably not going to get flustered on him because he's playing some good golf. Steven's just going to go ahead and be his own caddy here. He asked me what club, and I said, you know what club. He is a little up the hill. Not the best position, but it looks like it's dead straight, Steven, honestly. I think you're just going a tiny bit outright, if anything. I mean, you're gonna land it probably somewhere in here, but it's more of a feel shot since you have pitching wedge. All right, that was really good distance. I and mean, as you can tell, Matt's ball is just inside of that for Louie. About a four and a half, five footer, pretty much knows that he has to make this to give himself any sort of chance to win, uh, tie this hole. There's no way Steven's winning this hole. Yeah. I'm in shock. I knew he was gonna play well, but currently one under, and this is to get Matt to one under. Matt is the worst putter. Dash. Oh! That's what we needed. That's what we needed. It, might have it, it, bumped, it, it was just a little a bit tad. bumpy. It was a little bit bumpy. Like All right. literally just a tad. There Ooh. you go. All right, stays even par. I'm kind of in complete shock. I've been playing golf with Steven since I started, and I've never seen him play like this, Steven. Yeah, pressure is where I play good, and usually I never take our challenges and stuff serious because I like having fun, but the first time I'm like, taking it actually serious. You can tell Matt, he hasn't been crazy, he hasn't been yelling and stuff. He's in the zone, he's trying to really focus in. Steven's the same way. Obviously it's working, Steven's one under par. Matt's even par. Steven is still one up. We are on to hole five, which is a par four. Okay guys, hole five here is a par four, dog leg left, uh, bunkers on the left, you can go through the fairway if you were to hit driver. I got Steven hitting three wood. The hole is 363 yards. Yeah, it's definitely an attackable hole. Uh-oh. No, that's fine. First struggle, but a good hole to do it on. No, that's fine. Yeah, I tried oh, yeah. to hit a stinger just to show my dominance. Oh, oh you man, played the cut. We have approached Steven's ball. Steven, how do you feel about your first top? Feels good, honestly. I tried to hit a stinger. I'm just going to be honest there. We have 189. I know on hole two we hit five iron, but that was straight downwind, downhill. We got to go four iron here. It's okay. It's all right. right. Yeah, that's a tough club to hit. That's fine. I've never hit four iron. I don't like four iron. You can throw this out of the club. club. Yeah. Par is going to win this hole probably. So okay. you don't try to do too much fancy stuff. Pins directly on the other side of these trees. How far does he have? 160 is going with a nice easy nine iron. Come back. Come, come, keep going. Keep coming back. Oh, look at how that just turned that way now. Fine. Fine, on the back too. right. That's it. Two putt par. All right, Garrett says he's good at this shot. Let me show you what this is, guys. Pretty decent lie right here. The lie is not going to be the issue. The issue is going to be actually right here. The pin looks like to be tucked in the front, and there's a bunker right there. I've never seen Steven hit out of a bunker. My guess is... I hit an eight iron out of the bunker and made par. Guess how many yards we have? Like 150, probably. 69 yards. Okay, so we're gonna go a 60 degree here and we're gonna hit it nice little cut swing like you always do, yeah. which is gonna get lofted in the air. You don't even need to hit it that. It's like when you hit pitching lodge on hole six. Trying to bring back memories from old swings. Kind of actually a good little tip from the caddy here. Might be really good. 
Ho, ho, ho. Let's go. Came down just right of the pin. He's gonna have a putt for par, folks. That was an incredible shot. Okay, what a shot from Steven. I think I might try out for the PGA. Is that, that's not soccer in there. You don't try out. His ball's right here. Literally, he's got a putt at par. After that tee shot and that second shot, I'm completely amazed. Matt's still over there having to get up and down for par, and that's not a guarantee up and down. Mosquito Matt, what do you have to say about all this going on here? Yeah, he hit a really good, he put some, I mean, I thought I was going to put some pressure on him, but looks like he turned that right around. Hits a really nice shot there. It is a little bit tricky putt for him, so if I can snudge this in close, tap it in, I think we'll be all right. He might miss. Simmer, simmer, Just needs to simmer, settle. Looks simmer. pretty good, though. Actually, really good shot. All right, that's fine. Okay, he's going to have a slider here. We kind of were talking about it earlier in the cart, me and Garrett. It's kind of nice when you don't know how difficult a shot is. You just focus on the shot at hand. You're not really thinking. Kind of like this putt. This putt's very difficult, but I don't know if Steven knows that. This is not an easy putt, folks, to read. And I don't want to give him the wrong read. From behind, that actually looks really good. Fit. But like, I would say roll like we did on the last one, but on the right side of it. You can see what they're looking at right here. It's about a six footer or so. This is one that can definitely get away from you if you put it with a little bit too much mustard. Similar to the color of his shoes. Yes. My gosh, this guy has come to play. <laughs> One under through five? Am I am I am I here today? Inside left. Definitely don't take it outside the hole. Cash! I'm in complete shock. After hole five, Steven is still one under par and literally just made one of the best pars I've ever seen on that hole. Top the tee shot, shank right my four iron, hit a good little shot up there and made the par. Yeah. Last hole's done. Me and, me and Steven are dialed in right now. We're focused. We're ready to keep playing. We're ready to go. We're here today. We're here tomorrow. We're not here tomorrow's yesterday before today because we're still here tomorrow. So let's dial it back in. Let's keep continuing the gameplay. Yeah. Okay, guys. Hole six here. 536 yards. Hardest hole on the course. There's Stuff left, stuff right. You basically just have to stripe and drive. I'm gonna have Steven play over the left trees. Plays normal cut with the driver. I think that's the game plan. Uh-oh. That's, yeah. Uh oh Might be tree Gotta get down a little bit. No. I think he'd be all right, just in the right inside rough. That's fine. I know you guys didn't see it on camera, but Steven is gonna be in the right trees, right rough. And honestly, it's a pretty decent spot over there. Sit down. Sit down. A little left, a little Sit left. Sit down. Real soft. Nice and soft. Sit. Right there. Sit. Ah. Oh. All right, we have come to Steven's ball. This is going to be a big decision here. This is what they're looking at right now. So I would say low handicappers probably going to just hit a nice little punch through this gap here to give themselves like a wedge in. Higher handicappers, the play is going to probably be out here. Now it's decision time for these guys. First of all, we know your slice. Yeah. Like, what do you want to do? Here? Go for it. With three wood. Yeah. I agree. You can hit a huge slice if you mm -hmm. want, right? Yeah. And it's pretty consistent? Yeah. So I think you aim two feet left of that tree. Yeah. They went with option C, which is going left of this tree and playing a ginormous slice, aiming straight OB. Dead straight. Dead straight, oh, and it kicked yeah. left. Matt here, just on the car path. Yep, car path relief action. Um, honestly, this tree's not even coming to play, bros. So I think I just take a club and literally just go right over that hill. Way up, up and over the hill, pretty good. All right, Gary, what's the situation? We have found his ball over here. It is not a good lie. We barely have a shot at it. Do you feel a little bit bad about your call on the last shot? He got a little unlucky, honestly. He normally hits that slice. All right, Steven is in the stuff. He's gonna see if he actually can even swing the club. That is going to be very interesting. Okay, really good. He topped it out, which is fine. We're in play. This is where Matt's balling it up. Third shot here in the rough, just short of the bunkers. This is kind of what he's looking at, folks. That pin is in the front. He's got a two putt for par. Steven has a pretty good lie here. 82 yards, doing a full 60. Yeah. Yes. Ah, uh, get right. Fade. Yes. Simmer. Sit. Really good. That but... was a full. All right, Matt. Up the hill. Up the hill. Up the hill. This is a tough little pot, guys. It's gonna go right at the beginning, and it's gonna come back left at the end. So I like you playing maybe just a little bit outside the right. Go. 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 Yes. Stevens down the hill for. A par here. We're gonna also read this through the camera again. Probably just inside of this. That should turn really quick at the beginning with the grain. Uh oh. Ooh. Uh -oh. I hit that so hard. It's okay. Wonder. It was a good line. 
Uh, he just hit a little aggressive there. All right, guys, and Matt here to win the hole. This is for par. If he misses this, Steven still has a chance. Oh, yes. We sample. have a chance. We have a chance. Don't worry to aim it. I'll actually little, put it right this time. Boom. All right, the biggest putt of the match so far. This is to stay one up. This would put Steven at even par, one up. Oh, he missed it. All right. Are you up for the challenge? You just lost the hole with three holes left. How do you feel? I'm feeling great right now. Huh? Hole seven here is one of the coolest looking holes on camera out here at Sunflower Hills down the hill. 373 yards, I think, or maybe not. I don't even know. I haven't looked yet. And uh, it's dog leg right to left. Matt's going hybrid. I got Steven going driver because driver has been working today, especially because everything slopes left. If you hit a fade and miss right, you're actually better off. Trust me. Oh, whoa, 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 Hey, Brody, 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 Brody. You're not a body guy. Back it up. You're I'm a caddy. I'm his caddy. Yeah. You're, you're... Ooh. That's a shot. I don't know, That's though. That's a shot. I do not know. Pose, 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 pose. Woo! That's what I'm talking about, baby. Woo! Are you kidding me? Yes. Oh, my God. A stinger. A driver stinger. That was filthy. In the match, a driver stinger slide. All right, Steven's ball right here, just short of the cart path. He's in perfect position here to get a ball on the green. Matt's ball, you can see it way up there. Nah. My goodness, that's an incredible shot. If you guys are wondering what that ball is down there, that's Brody's stinger. We're going to play it on the screen. We just did one for fun. Hey, did you hear they're building a Walmart out here? Where? Uh, in between you and Matt's ball. Oh! We're going 52 degree. You got 123. <laughs> what are you saying? Well short in the rough. Guys, I'm taking full responsibility for that shot. I told Steven not to swing full because I was scared he was going to go long. I should have made him swing harder. About 80 yards. Going with a little 60, about three quarter. Hopefully a knockdown shot. Oh, he did knock it down. Yes. Get up a little yes. bit. Yes. Get up. Get up. No, no. All right. The furthest thing from ideal that you could ever get, um, other than this t-shirt, you can go cop that. He's got to get out of this terrible eye. There's partial luck in grass like this. That one kind of flew. Matt up the hill, he's just going straight for it. Oh, you went like a small back swing and you kind of zipped it. That'll Eight. Yeah, that's what we need to see. So he's gonna almost have to probably, yeah, Matt's gonna have to move his ball mark because that's how far out Steven's gonna have to play this ball. He makes this, it's gonna be absolutely ridiculous. Okay, Steven looks to be lined up here. He's probably aiming a good uh, five, six feet out to the, our left, his right. Hits it with no pace, and it's gonna be just inside of Matt's ball. Yes. That's no gimme. It's not gonna drop. Dang. All right, in for double. Drops to plus two. Still having a great round though. Mm. One up, two to play, let's go. After hole seven, this has been a long grind of a match. Matt is now one up. Hole eight here is a par three, roughly 191 yards. I messed up pretty big time as a caddy on hole seven. Kind of screwed Steven with his shot into the green. On that hole, I take full responsibility on the loss. Okay, it's 158. We're going seven here. We're going with a nice smooth nine. He's just gonna play a little draw off the right side of the bunker here. Yep, just like that. Just like that. That's fine. I think mentally, Steven's struggling here. I really need to dial up Steven in here. He needs to tie this hole to send it to the last hole. It's just, you can tell he's had a couple bad swings and he just let that stay in his head. Gotta just erase it and go on to the next shot here. He's probably 55 yards away. Gotta land it like right in there. Honestly, you see like the base of the tree behind the pin there? Yeah. That's your line. And then you're trying to land it 20 feet short of the pin. Simmer. Sit. He hit that more. Hit that a little strong. He's got a putt though, down the hill. 
It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Steven and I don't like losing at all. We really need this. Okay, at the end, it's definitely breaking to the left. Obviously, that's where Matt's birdie putt is. Looks pretty good. No. That, the best I could do. Yeah, I mean that is the best you could do. That broke a lot more than we thought. We got a chance. We got a chance at Matt's three putts. Dang, left it a little short. Could have a knee knocker for the win. Steven really needs him to miss this. He could win it on hole eight here. Yes! Oh. Yes! Oh my gosh. Ah. He's got a chance. Oh no. Wait, Matt, you gotta make this too. No gimme. I'm setting the camera up on this one, guys, because I need to give Steven the perfect read here. Right here? There's so many spike marks, guys. Yes! We got a chance! That's fine. It's we fine. It's fine. Don't worry. You would think in matches like this, people would stage them this, this, and that. We haven't staged one shot today. We've been playing this straight up, and they've genuinely been playing this well, which is crazy to me. They're both three over par. Steven is one down. The other crazy thing is Steven would be tied up with stroke play. Another cool little stat to think about. But nonetheless, the fact that this match is this close coming out of the last hole. Hole nine is a par four, 329 yards, dog leg left, bunker on the left, trees on the left. Nice and smooth in the fairway here. All right, guys, Matt going with the hybrid. Yes! Oh my god, that's so clutch! I felt good. That had to have been nerve-wracking. A little bit, a little bit when I was, not when I was on the ball, but when I was actually practicing when I was a little nervous. Simmer, simmer, that, that's gonna be all right. We're totally fine here. Steven is in the rough, I know. I mean, it wasn't the greatest tee shot, he's got a side hill lie. But he's in play, what more can you ask for? If you hit across that cart path, you're out of play. I'm guessing he's about 125. This is his shot. This nice little pitching wedge is his shot. Pressure is starting to mount. Is it weird that I'm shaking? No, not really. I, you know, that's just a lack of confidence in your player. No, okay. side hill line makes it go a little more left. I don't know how much that's gonna affect your swing. Middle of the green, yeah, probably. I like that. I mean, how much of the swing? Hole seven, you had 123, we hit a 52 degree which is one less club and that still went like 115 so up and over the trees i believe nice and confident steve-o oh dead straight yeah just on the right hand side Ooh. About 15 hit the green feet. that's such a clutch shot 15 shot. feet guys we have a chance we have a chance. So we're tied on stroke play. Yes, you are. So I could lose, I could tie him and actually lose. Matt almost drove the green with his hybrid, so I don't know how he hit that that far. 315 yards. Hey, crush that. I hate to say it, folks, but when you bench as much as me, things like this tend to happen. It got the most lucky bounce, trust me. There's no way. Get out of here with that chump. Are you talking trash? You played NAI Division One golf, and I, I played, played soccer. All right, trash dog coming on the last Sorry, hole. I, I gotta give it to him. Extremely clutch tee shot, but he might chunk this nowhere. Why are you gonna play in tournament play? Because he always chunk it. I watched one of his tournaments once. Oh no. Get up there a little bit. Get up there. Whoa, the chunk and there. run? All right, that's fine. He fine. chunked it, but it went. It chunked, but it went. You were so lucky. Keep Thought up. we were gonna be chipping again, folks. Not gonna lie. Steven, what a shot, honestly. Guys, this is the putt we're looking at. I've seen crazier things. I know Steven can make this. He's pretty lights out when it comes to it. Okay, it looks like he has the line here. The sun is starting to set. Drama's gonna unfold here in a few seconds. Couldn't really write it up any better than this. Steven with a putt to put all the pressure on Matt to make his birdie putt. He didn't hit it. He didn't hit it. Matt now with two putts, basically to seal the deal here. But honestly, I wanna see this one drop. I think this will put him at one over for the nine holes, which would be an incredible round. Go. Matt Go. for birdie. Go. All right, Steven's just gonna rub it in with his par. Finish one-handed here. Good Boom. Putt. Well Good done. Putt. Like seriously, solid round. Thanks. I know you didn't win, but hey. Yeah, yeah if he makes this, he wins, which Cash. Good match, boys. So what did I shoot? What did he shoot? You shot. Decent round. Great round. Partner, yeah. it's a W. Heck Electric yeah. connection. The thing about today, though, was actually stroke play. They ended up tying at three over, which was very impressive. Very good play. 
out of both of them. But once again, Matt did take the dub. We're gonna do a little post round interview here. Thanks for watching that match. That was insane. Brody was helping me on the range, telling me to use my hips. He pretty much improved my swing while I was on the range. And uh, and I took it out and, and played like I usually play. We both shot 39, which is really good for us. It's unfortunate that we're playing match play instead of stroke. It's gonna sit on the back of my mind, but it's all good. You won. Yeah. Where you are right now, literally your circumstances. Now Steven has to say two minutes of stuff that he basically just really likes about Matt. List off three things and talk about them. Uh, let's give me something to say. Yeah, he, he grinds. He, yeah, he played, he played college golf with a decent golfer. Unfortunately, he doesn't play anymore, which is, I'd love to see him play more. His personality is really crazy, to be honest, but it's crazy in a good way. He is, he is, he's tall. He's really tall. Uh, he stopped gaining weight. Yeah, he's really humble and kind, of course. I mean, everybody everybody sees that. All the fans see that, don't you? Yeah, he's not a seven handicapper. He's more of a plus two now. All right, good job, Steven. Well done, well done on the compliment. So, guys, we're currently at a local pond. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to jump in with the fishes. I'm kind of excited to jump in the pond, which is weird. So we have to walk through all this tall grass to get here. It's like pointy grass, but essentially we're gonna have to walk all the way back to the car 300 yards without shoes on in these thorns and trash grass. That's the pond we're jumping in. Steven, Jared, you're jumping first so I know that there's nothing in there. I'm really glad we won. Good job. This looks terrible. Oh God. Oh, God. oh that's disgusting! Nice! Feet. Not ideal, baby. Cop the merch. How are we doing? That was fun. That was fun. I'm kind of glad I'm the loser. Went out, played some crazy golf. Unfortunately, lost because of match play, but. I want a rematch. That's all. It's unsettling. We're gonna meet you at the house after I take a shower. <laughs> it's 11:30. Instagram also Bro Five. Go check it out. YouTube. YouTube. There's also a Bro Five. Probably the links. Everything will be in the video here. Make yeah, sure yeah. you go check out all of them. Facebook also as well. Don't you dare forget about Facebook and don't you dare forget about Twitter. All social media platforms. Check it out. The descriptions will be in the link. Yeah, the match today. Honestly, when we got to the range and I started hitting golf balls, I was just appalled at how good I was hitting the golf ball. And then all of a sudden, Brody's like, hey, Matt, why don't you switch this around? And now I'm hitting the golf ball 20 times better. Through five, I was one under. <laughs> I was scared in the beginning. It was kind of like a Floyd Money Mayweather and, 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 and a Conor McGregor situation where Conor McGregor's like kind of getting the job done that way. And people are like, what's going on? But then Floyd Money Mayweather in the back's kind of like, I know the plan. I know how to win. And then I got the job done that way. And I mean, it kind of scared. I, I don't like the analogy because do you want to box next or what? I mean, we can, if we need to, we can, we're not going to, guys. All right. Um, uh, yeah. I think a respect has been gained for each person. I was expecting to blow out by three or four strokes, but Steven just did something and came to play. The beef, the beef I is think gone. Is, wait, wait. No, let no, me no. talk. No, here we, let me, let, hear me out. The no, beef is let you talk too much. The beef, it's gone, but there's always gonna be like a competitive. Like we've yeah. always had that before. That's yeah. just like our nature. Like me, Garrett, like not even just me and you, and Garrett as well. Yeah. We just have a competitive nature when we play. Yeah, like I'm the best frisbee thrower between me and you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It was just, us being competitive about who's gonna win the golf match so it's always been there like it didn't just start if you want the rematch subscribe to bro five and just let us know and we'll film a rematch we got a good match okay oh and uh by the way here's your nine cents and you can tip your caddy whatever you feel how much are you tipping him oh Ooh.